Are you suffering from low back pain with spasm, tightness, and weakness usually in one side? Hi, my name is Annie and welcome to my channel, Annie Pilates Physical Therapist. As requested by one of my viewers, Joanne Artisan, to do a follow-on video about Quadratus Lumborum Fix that I did a few months ago. So this is a video that's a little bit more progressive with Pilates, yoga, physical therapy, utilizing dumbbells and elastic band to strengthen your gluteus medius, minimus, and your maximus to support the one side weakness that causes spasms and tightness on overworked quadratus lumborum. So get them ready and your mat to join me today. If you haven't watched the video regarding quadratus lumborum, why you're having this never-ending spasm and stiffness in one side, that also results sometimes your pelvis tilted in one side. So usually the tilt is on the tight area. So it lifts up, causes a crunch of muscle of the quadratus lumborum. And if you want to learn more about this muscle and why you're having this pain, spasm, tightness, weakness for so many years or months, and you want to resolve this problem, it's good to know what's the root of the problem. So watch the previous video. I'll put the link on the description below or you can click here on the info card. So once you watch that, do that beginner program and this is the gentle progression for those who has been following along with my videos and has been practicing some Pilates already because this is a little bit more progressive now because I'm going to utilize the elastic band from the beginning. So let's begin the program now. We're going to start lying on your back, placing the elastic band around your thighs. We're going to start engaging your glutes muscles first, especially if this one side is your right side. So in this video, I'll pretend my right side is my weak side. So for those of you with the left side, you can do this like a mirror. And if your right side is your problem, then do the opposite way because this looks like a mirror effect. Okay, my friends, let's lie on your side. I'm going to lie on my left to target my right side, weakness and pain. With your knees bent, 45 degree angle, feet together, knees together, you can place one hand in front of you in order for you to engage your core further and without twisting your spine. So as you lift the top knee, you wanna engage your core by pulling your navel to your spine. As you inhale, hold it for five, four, three, two, and one, exhale. Breathe in as you open your knee up, exhale down, one breath, one motion with a gentle hold, exhale down, seven more, inhale, exhale, feel the burn, you can tap your glutes to wake them up, it's nice to do the proprioception, tactile cueing, because usually, the side where you're tight on your quadratus lumborum, your gluteus medius is very weak, as well as your glutes minimus. So I'm tapping on my side, waking those muscles. Try your best not to lean back as you lift your knee up. Hold that, core engage. Three more. I'm going to feel fatigue now a little bit as you inhale. Exhale, slowly Placing your knee down, breathe in up, open. Exhale down. Last one, hold this for five, four, three, two, and one. Now place the elastic band around your ankles for reverse clamp. So reverse clamp, you're gonna lift the foot up, keeping your knees together this time. Exhale down, inhale as you lift. Exhale down. Eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. And one. And let's place the elastic band again back to your knees. And we're going to do parallel clamshell by placing your knees up closer to your hip area, 
parallel 90 degrees bent here this time this time you're gonna lift your knee and foot up all at the same time making sure they're even not too high on your foot and not too high on your knee they're parallel to the lower part of your knee and foot as you inhale exhale down breathe in squeezing your core in try your best not to twist your spine eight more inhale exhale seven six five you're gonna feel the burn now on your glutes four gentle hold at the end you don't have to hold it for five seconds this gets harder three two last one my friends and one okay let's lengthen our legs now with your knees straight feet together knees together and we're gonna do a side leg lift hip abduction toes pointing you to challenge your glutes more so dorsiflex as you breathe in as high as you can feel that on your glutes and the side of your thigh your hip abductors as you breathe in breathe out seven more six five feel the burn four three two last one and one and let's further challenge by pulling kicking back a little bit with a little bit hip extension you're gonna target the deeper muscles on your hip and your gluteus medius are going to be firing and then your toes pointing down to the floor and your heel pointing up to the ceiling inhale and then tap down to the mat exhale you're going to feel all the way up here in the front of your hip as well breathe in breathe out squeezing your core in gauge try your best not to twist your spine six more five four three two and one well done now let's lie on your back and engage the whole glutes muscles to realign your pelvis if you're having lateral shift as i said and tightness and quadrasic lumbar place your hands hands on your side knees and hips leveled slowly lift your hips per bridge squeezing your core in as you breathe in and then squeezing your buttocks as hard as you can as you go down breathe out through your mouth and then try your best to pull your navel to your spine and then bone to bone slowly touching to the mat as you breathe out we have nine more inhale lift squeezing your core in exhale down lift squeeze everything tight together your glutes your core in so this helps realign together activate the good side as well and down five more lift belly button to your spine squeeze your gut buttocks as hard as you can and down four more three two and last one and one hold that position and we'll do a gentle pulse of lifting your hip up and down for a few inches pulsing it to engage your glutes further and tightening those muscles together ten nine eight seven six five four three two and one and roll down and let's further challenge your glutes by doing a gentle bridge again and then butterfly pulses slowly pressing your knees towards the elastic band pulsing it out and in small range as well for a few inches as well ten nine eight seven six five four three two and one and down 
we're gonna do a gentle abdominal muscles engagement extending your knee before we proceed to our, our lovely prayer position scooting forward and back arms overhead squeeze your core in chin tuck slowly roll up inhale sitting up straight squeezing your core in toes pointing away chin tuck again slowly roll down slow and steady bone to bone to the mat and breathe out keeping your hands and elbows straight and then elevate your hands overhead for starting position and we have four more inhale chin tuck exhale roll up keeping your back straight as you reach all the way up sitting up straight chin tuck exhale down breathe in breathe out if you can't do this yet as i said watch my previous video for beginner program inhale exhale down two more lift roll up exhale down last one inhale roll up in the prayer position hands in front of you you're gonna not gonna use your hand we're gonna scoot forward for a few movement few reps and then scoot backward to engage your glutes and your core as well as your quadrats lumbar so i'm gonna shift my other weight on one side so i could scoot forward until i'm at the edge of the mat and then scoot back really pushing using my glutes and my back my ql muscle if you need to use your hand you can for beginners all the way at the other side of the mat. So it really strengthens your QL muscles and scoot forward again, squeezing the core in, shifting left and right. Let's go all the way at the end and then back. You have two more. This is hard work. Small movement makes a difference. And scoot forward. Keep your breath work, keep your back straight, and then back. And last one, forward. You might be tired now on your hips. And then back in the center. Well done. Place your hands on your side. We're gonna do some hip thrust to further strengthen your glutes. Squeeze your core in, bend your knees just a little bit. Place your feet planted on the mat and slowly lift for a thrust. Inhale, exhale down. Inhale, exhale. Two more. Last one. And now we hold that position, hip thrust and pulse small butterfly again 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 and 1 well done now with your knee straight we're going to do reverse plank to strengthen your core and your ql and lift with your knee straight looking up hold it for five four three two one and down two more hold it for five four three two one last one and lift five four three two one well done now we're going to go to our kneeling position to strengthen your ql so in kneeling position place the dumbbells on your sides you're going to do some contract relax on your quadratus lumborum as i said earlier if this is your tight side on your right side you're going to start contracting first and leaning to the right hold it for five four three two one and then exhale away from the tight side and hold it longer for at least two deep breaths so approximately 10 seconds hold and really deep breath through your nose as you inhale exhale as you breathe out and back to the right side again feel that beautiful stretch for five four three two one and release away from the tight cue well two deep breaths and 
and to the right for five, four, three, two, one, and exhale away. And then you might find you're stretching your cool L so much easier on the more you do it. And then back to the right for five, four, three, two, one, and exhale away. Inhale and exhale. Breath work. Last one. To the right. Five, four, three, two, one. And exhale away. Last deep breath in. And release. Well done. Now let go of the dumbbells. We're going to do a mermaid position or 90-90 with 90 degrees bent on the front leg, the left side for me is in the front, 90 degree bend with my foot in front, and then my back leg, 90 degrees, so I'm pushing my knee out further, and my foot is leveled with my knee, keeping my hip leveled. If you feel this is too difficult and you're having pain, you can put a pillow to support your back because you're usually tight on the weaker side. So you're gonna feel a hip groin pain, tightness here, I'm gonna start rotating away from the QLs. So I'm turning to the left, placing my both hands on the left side, one hand on top of my left knee, and I'm looking behind my left shoulder as much as I can to twist and take two deep breaths. And then relax to the center. Again, twist to the left. And then back center, keeping your hips squared and twist to the left and you can go further to the left. I'm gonna feel all the way down to your hip groin area. Breath work is so important to release your tight QL. Last one, to realign your pelvis and your back. And back center. Now we are gonna mobilize our pelvis and our hip joint by doing a gentle forward fold in a mermaid position. Place your hands in front of you and lean forward. As you lean forward, you're gonna lift the back foot. This targets your gluteus medius to stretch and strengthen as well. Inhale and then exhale back in tall mermaid position with your pelvis squared and then bend forward as you breathe in and then lifting your foot all at the same time. And then press up to go back center and breathe out. Go further down if you can and lifting your foot back. And then center you strengthening your gluteus medius in this position at the same time stretching. And you're gonna feel your QL contracting. And then center. Again, bend forward and lift. You're gonna feel the fatigue now on your gluteus medius. You have two more to go. Let's hold it further and longer. Five, four, three, two, one. The isometric is so important as I discussed in my previous video. Last one. Five, four, three, two, one. And now we're gonna twist to the right. As we twist to the right, you're gonna feel it on your hip groin and your back. And this time we're gonna lift the back knee. You're gonna open that inner thigh, your hip groin, and then your QL is shortening a little bit. And then back down with your breathing. Lift as you twist. And then down. Three more. And then down. Two more. Feels so good. And last one, my friends. And back down. Now let's go to your hands in this position. Let's release our spine, our neck and your pelvis, hands level to your shoulders, knees level to your hips. Let's do a gentle cat and camel. Round your shoulder, chin tuck to an angry cat, pelvic curl. Squeeze your core in, inhale. Exhale, look up to a camel, arching your lumbar spine to stretch and release. Inhale. Exhale up. So we're contracting your QL muscles a little bit again as you do an extension of your spine. Inhale, and then when you do an angry cat, you're stretching it. Exhale, look up. Two more. Breathe in. Breathe out. 
Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Well done. Now we're going to do a beautiful trunk twist. I'm looking behind my left shoulder, stretching my right QL if that's your problem side. Inhale. And then exhale back center. Again, look behind your shoulder, all the way to your foot, twist and release. And then back center. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Trunk twist and all fours. Last one. And now we'll do side plank to strengthen and do more isometric. So go into your hand, level to your shoulder, knees bent together, and we're going to do a modified side plank for beginners. You can place one hand in front of you. If you want a challenge, you can place one hand on your hip, and let's grab a dumbbell for those who want a challenge. So lift for side plank. Hold the dumbbell on your hip to challenge, to strengthen. So you're targeting your right QL here for isometric. Take a deep breath. Inhale, and as you exhale, slowly lower it down. Eccentric control to release your QL. And feel so good on that pain on the lower iliac area. So inhale, lift. Squeeze your core in. And then exhale, slow and steady as you go down. Eight more. Feel so good on your QL. Inhale, you might find some tightness and release sometimes it feels like a good pain you know it's a good pain when you're done it feels good and if it gets angrier then it's a bad pain it means it's not ready yet for this progression inhale exhale down squeeze your core in as you lift and then down further challenge placing the dumbbell near your shoulders with your elbows bent for an extra weight on your core and shoulder. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. And then down. Last one. Isometrics. And now extending your elbow with the dumbbell, we'll do a gentle twist. Twisting in, contract, placing the dumbbell on your right side near your armpit. On your right rib cage and exhale open extending your elbow and leaning back a little bit for a gentle twist further behind your shoulder if you can open your chest up inhale in exhale open with your breath work inhale twist in trunk twist in and the side plank exhale open expanding your rib cage breathe in Breathe out. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. And we are cooling down now with a simple child pose. So if your problem side is your right side, I'm going to place both hands at the outside of my left side of my mat and then lower my hips down for a child pose with a twist. So I'm going to extend my arm and really reach forward as I lower my head down and hold this in five deep breaths to end the program. You're going to feel a beautiful release all the way to your shoulders and your right side. Right rib cage, right pelvis, and your right QL to realign your pelvis and the tightness on your lumbar spine. If you have tight and spasmodic lumbar side in one side, two more deep breaths in, last deep breath in. As you breathe out, slowly get up, and that's it. I'm hoping you enjoyed my follow-along video to target your quadratus lumborum. If you love this video and want to learn more about Pilates, yoga, physical therapy, health, and wellness, please subscribe to my channel. Ring the bell so you won't miss anything. Like and share this video. Every like you give to my channel, you are supporting me. If you have any questions, suggestions, or concerns, leave a comment down below or direct message me on my social media so you learn more about health and wellness. And if you need my help, and gentle guidance can join my upcoming reopening of my back masterclass so I can meet up new students who needed support guidance if you're suffering from back pain with weak core and poor posture. 
Click the link on my description below and be part of my early bird waitlist for first come first serve basis. I'll be reopening on October 1st, 2022. Until my next video training, as I said, watch this previous video to learn more about Quadratus Lumborum. Watch this video about Quadratus Lumborum, the anatomy and physiology and why you're having this as a root of your back pain problems. Until my next video training, always remember, be safe, be well and healthy you. Bye!